All right, everybody. So um, what we're going to do is um, I wanted to show, like if we can see in this video I did, this is basically for adjusting the contrast of your Im image sequence that you bring in to um, Unreal Engine. So you have this video here where I did. Now I'm still learning the blending and everything, but what I wanted to do is I just wanted to go over how I added in the blueprints so where you can adjust your um, contrast on your image sequence all right so what we're going to do is we're going to click on that so we have here in your materials you can see if we go down here this is like your parent material um, i'm going to double click on that all right so it's going to come up here what i'm going to do is before i start showing i'm going to show you a little bit i already have this in here we're going to delete these this is what we're going to be creating so now we're about to get to start from fresh all right from scratch what i normally do is um, i'm going to first add in the multiply so we're going to right click we're going to hit multiply. We're going to add that in there. All right. Then from there, what we're going to also do is we're going to add a um, contrast preserve color. So we're going to right click again. We're going to go to contrast preserve color. So we have our contrast preserve color there. Now, what we're going to also do is we need to be able to make those adjustments. So we need to be able to change the values. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to press one, the number one. And we're going to hold it and we're going to basically left click on the mouse. So if we one left click, we got our values. Um, I don't know if that's the exact name, but that's what we're using here. Then if we're going to go down here, because we want to be able to adjust the other value. So we're going to add another value. Press one left click. So we have that there. Now it's time to connect all of this stuff up. All right, because these things can be definitely like I'm still trying to understand how all of this stuff looks, but it's just it's what it is. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our RGB. We're going to drag that to A on the multiply. Then on our values chart, we're going to grab that and take it to our multiply B. So now we have that there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go for this output. We're going to take that down here to the contrast preserve color, V3. Then we're going to grab the value down here, and we're going to move that to this bottom contrast. Now, with those being said, we're going to take the results uh, of the contrast preserve. We're going to move that to emissive color. Now that we have all of these in here, we are pretty much good. Now it's just time to start adjusting values. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to show you here a little bit of what these values can do. So if I apply this right now, we're going to see what happens. Get us all black, right? So we is going to see it. I know I'm black, but I ain't that damn black. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start. We're going to put your normal values. You can kind of start off at one if you wanted to. We can hit apply. You'll see the changes. They will happen. So let's see how that looks. Now we have this. Now this zero, the lower you go, you're going to start seeing different values come in. So this is dealing with our contrast, and this is also dealing with our contrast. But if we go and say this is around, let's say 2.2. I mean, I already know the kind of happy numbers, but I'm just kind of showing y'all roughly fast. Now we got to start dropping this. So if we look at this one and we drop this down to, uh, let's say, a 0.5, now we apply. All right, now we're starting to come into some values. So if you also, you want this thing a little bit darker, let's say if we put 1.5 and then we apply, you can see the changes happen. Um, let's say we put 0.5. I'm just kind of showing you a little bit of some of the things, how things can happen. Basically, you adjust this for what you feel that you need this to be. So I'm going to put this around 2.2. We're going to apply. And now we see how these looks. And then I'm going to bring this up because this is in my jacket. It looks a little bit um, kind of washed out. So if we bring it up, it's going to bring our contrast up a little bit down here. So we put it at about 0.65 and we can see if I apply that. Now we're starting to get into the world. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring this up here. You can always just go through and save, get your thing handled. That goes through. And um, this is basically, you make your adjustments to getting the, the scenes with contrast the way you want it. So hopefully this helped you out a little bit on that. Um, I'm going to continue going. I'm still learning blending and trying to basically blend this image sequence into the world. It, it's, it's working and it's getting making things happen. So y'all continue. Get out there and make things happen. Have fun with this shit.
cool. All right, y'all. I'm out.